she's sitting there doing time, knows she's misbehaving, and now she can draw everyone to her situation. I love my kids, but I gotta have the ability to lay down some rules. If you don't rise above it, Hi, Daddy. then it won't change. Hi, Daddy. So now what do you do if she just keeps running out here? You ignore and put her back. I mean, Joe was doing well, but I want to be able to teach him how to discipline without saying a word. <laughs> Let's eat. After my chat with Mum, Dad came home shortly from enforcing the law, and it gave me a good chance to see exactly how much law Dad puts down at that dining table when it's meal time. This is a fork. That's what you see, not your fingers. Stop. Put your leg down there now. Children don't excuse themselves from the table, they just get up. Why don't you come sit down? Are you done eating? Yeah. Once again, by myself. Proper family meal times should be a part of this family's organized routine because when it's not, it leads to a load of misbehavior and discipline issues. No. Come on, your brother's sleeping. No. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Now you're gonna sit here, Teague, if you can't share. You hear me? Sit there. Dad's discipline is ineffective. He placed Hannah into timeout and then continued to talk to her. That's not the correct way to do it. Stop it. Stop, you're being dead. You're making it worse. Stop. You're not going. No. You're not getting it until you sit there. Don't hit me. You know better than that. Dad's a police officer and he's increasingly becoming frustrated with the fact that his own children don't have any respect for him or listen to him at all. <laughs> Not funny. Stay here a minute. <laughs> the reason why the kids don't listen to Dad is because when he puts them into time out, he continues to have a conversation with them. <laughs> After teaching Hannah that stealing is wrong, I recognised that Mr Policeman himself was having a hard job reinforcing rules in his own home. <laughs> now you're not getting... No, no. You know what? Sit. No. Sit here for not listening to you for the fifth time. Sit. No. Sit. Let's go. Put the ball away. Sit there until I tell you to get up or you're not going to do anything for the rest of the day. You're standing up, and now you're not going to ride your bike. No, Sit. No, nope, you're done. You're not riding your bike. No. I want to ride my bike. I don't care. No. Until you sit there quietly, you're not getting out. So sit there quietly. Stop kicking the door. Sarah was putting up a fight, so I took Dad to the side to teach him how to teach Sarah that he meant business. What you're doing is you're feeding into all of that. She's sitting there doing time, knows she's misbehaving, and now she can draw everyone to her situation. I love my kids, but I gotta have the ability to lay down some rules. If you don't rise above it, Hi, Daddy. then it won't change. Hi, Daddy. So now what do you do if she just keeps running out here? You ignore and put her back. I mean, Joe was doing well, but I wanna be able to teach him how to discipline without saying a word. <laughs> Kind of the hardest part is just sticking with the discipline thing and trying to get them to stay in the corner and not get too frustrated and uh, give up on it. Your time was up, wasn't it? Yeah. So you should follow through because then she knows that you're doing this technique. You know why you're sitting here? Because I Dad. Dad is learning how to stand up for himself and discipline correctly. And the more he follows through and is consistent, the more his kids are going to start to listen to him and respect him. Come on. Go. With the techniques in place, it's time for me to leave and to see exactly how well they do without me. I am leaving for a couple of days. All right, but but know this, I am going to be watching. OK? You know the drill. And I'll see you on my return. Thank okay. you. OK? Take care. Take it's going to be interesting to see exactly how well the Citrella family do on their own, because we do still have a lot of teaching to do. So the next clip we are going to see here, Joe, is all about you doing time out. How are you getting on 
with doing time here. Yes, they went pretty well, so... OK, let's take a look at this. Come on. That's where you're going for not listening for the fifth time today. Let's go. Tired of you ignoring me and doing what you want. Now sit here until I tell you to move. Coming! No, you're staying there for being fresh. You lost it. It's not funny. At all. Stop it. I do it. Sit on your butt the way you're supposed to sit. What do you say? When you watch this, Joe, what do you say? We might have talked to her too much while she was there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which means you're not doing the technique properly. Right. You have a wonderful family, and I've seen some really good stuff here. There are things that do need to be polished up in here, OK? And I don't want to leave <clears> until <throat> they are polished up. Are we happy to do that? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Are we ready to just embrace life and, and recognise that, <laughs> that we're here and our family come first? Yes. Yeah, OK, let's do that then. The first item of business was to turn the tables completely around on Dad so that when we went out on a car trip, I would break out my own earplugs. So, refresh my memory with these car journeys, with you and the kids in the car. I had seen in submission Dad placing earplugs in when the kids started to play up in the back of the car. Not only is this highly dangerous and could lead to an accident, but this is about a dad who's zoning out because he doesn't want to address what his girls are doing in the back. So today I thought I would show him by using his own example. You know, when would this normally happen? Pretty much any time we went on a longer, a long drive. Sorry? Any time we went on a long drive or pretty much any time we went on a drive at all. The main reason these girls kick off is because they want to have a conversation with their dad. If he gets rid of these earplugs, then he'll allow himself to have a two-way conversation with them and logically they're going to behave better. Like Becca, Rebecca and Sarah. Did you say Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca? No? I'm trying to look at your lips. Yeah, Re that... Rebecca. Sorry, did you say something? So did you say, oh, that's better. Did you say something? When I looked in the mirror and saw that she had actually put the earplugs in, it, it was funny. Yeah, well, these things are good, but I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> I think he got the message very quickly. And as I hoped, Dad's conversation with the girls, music to my ears. Your teacher wasn't there today? She's very nice. Is she really? What? Definitely without the earplugs, it makes life easier for the girls to be able to ask questions and me to be able to answer them, so. Uh, we'll have to see what Mommy has playing. Wow, you wouldn't have heard that with earplugs on. <laughs> <laughs> and the final step forward was to trash those earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope that's the last of the earplugs that we'll see again. <laughs> <laughs>